qualities that you possess that's exactly. why i'm in a relationship with you and that's why you are in a relationship with me and then oftentimes you know for a relationship to kick start you have to take one step at a time first exactly. of all you you have to take the person out for a date and the date is not necessarily going to be that it has to be the guy taking the girl out or the girl taking the guy out the date you guys could just arrange to meet obviously your first date yeah yeah all right and your first date there are a lot of things you guys need to be talking that you guys have to talk about you have to get to know yourselves your names your life what you don't like and other stuff now apart yeah. from getting to know yourselves asking certain questions uh where did you grow up which school did you attend what kind of books do you like reading what kind of movies do you like watching you know while you're discussing all those kind of things there are certain places that helps enhances you know this knowing me knowing you attraction because if you take me to if you take me to a restaurant for 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 for, for an instant after introducing myself telling you my likes you tell me your likes and all that what else are we going to be doing what else are we going to be talking about it becomes boring and especially when our foods and drinks are yeah. gone the next yeah. thing is either we want to go home and yeah. for us it will be like we've we've had enough uh, discussion for the day exactly. we take it you know we continue from where we stop now it's not like you guys are going to have this uh, date thing for a long time. Exactly. But what I'm going to talk about tonight is certain places that you can go to that will make your first date very attractive. There are certain locations that you have to choose or pick while taking, while going for a first uh, a first date. Now you yeah. choose a location that allows you to change venues. Okay. okay. Right. Yeah. You pick a location that allows you to change venues. I will not do publicity for any of this um, nice resort, uh, resorts or parks that have lovely places. But yeah. just know that you have to pick a location that has a very nice venue. Um, you know that have nice venues you can change and then when you walk for instance now you go to a museum yeah all right let me take a museum as a, a point a case study you go to a museum you know in a museum there are a lot of venues in a museum exactly. you have the restaurant you have the bar where you can drink you have where you have all the statues history and all that when you go to places like that you have one million and one things to talk about as a matter of fact it builds the attraction very fast like in fact faster than 5g because in the museum we are probably going to see likes of um mk exactly it's not just all about what's your name where did you grow up what do you like what kind of books you know that i think for me is that that system is old school it, it's all right it's, it yeah it's really old school so you can go to you can pick a venue where you can change venues and those venues helps in providing content for your knowing me knowing you discussion yeah. all right so when you pick venues like that it also helps you to open up like for instance if i go to a museum and see um a dinosaur that is being electrocuted and it's just looking like this there i'm like Whoa! you know that kind of thing you be <laughs> you begin to create it gives room for more topics to discuss about because if you say okay I love books i love to read books and you don't love to read books and you want to be in a relationship with me 
Yeah. When we talk and you say, oh, I love books. And before you know, my mouth will start shopping. I've read this book. <laughs> and because it is not something that you like, yeah. my conversation to you becomes boring. Boring, yeah, very boring. Because you don't like reading. Or even though you like reading, what you, your, your area of interest might be different from mine. So that make that that means the kind of books we'll be reading will be completely different. Exactly. Right? But when you take it out to nature, nature provides you with a lot of things that we all like. Yeah. From there you begin to find out, oh, we have XYZ thing in common. We have this, this, this in common. We have that in common. And while you're doing this, make sure you talk to food, the kind of food you like, your spirituality, your physical, you know, your, your physical attributes, what's really, what's the physical thing about you that you really like and all that. It gives room for absolute openness. All right? That's one. Like I said, I want to teach three ways that you can build this attraction on a first day. So which one? The first one is picking a location that helps you change venue. Then the second one is create an activity center on your day. An activity center on your day rather than, you know, going to, let's say, a bar. Other than going to a bar to have a drink, you go to places where there are activities. For instance, you can go to a swimming pool. And you can go swimming. It's a yeah, you can go swimming. You can go to the gym. You can go to a game centers yeah. where you guys can play games. You can play different kind of games. You can yeah. swimming, of course. Swimming is fun. It's a great exercise. Even when you go to a swimming pool without going with your partner, you yeah. tend to mingle with other people, other swimmers there. Exactly. It helps. It helps ease um, level of networking and communication. So if you take your partner or your first date out on places that have activities. That way, you guys will have fun. Like, your first date is going to be memorable. When, like, for instance, if I don't know how to play uh, games like PS3, I don't know the latest one right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the latest right yes, now. Yes, 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 oh, yes. Okay, yeah, okay, see, you know, I know, I know what's up with it. You know, like PS4, you have to teach the person how to yeah. play this game. It doesn't necessarily mean to be your house because you have the game in your house. Yeah. All right? You can take her out to an open place where the person will be free because you know it's your first date. So you will not be taking her or him to your house except you are functioning on a different level of relationship. Yeah. Every time All right. So level of attraction there's a level of attraction yeah so yeah so you go to play and get to know yourself so gyms are one of those things that you can go to with your first date the swimming pool and then the game centers are places that you can actually go to do your stuff and then yeah. the third one i want to talk about tonight on how you know, ways you can help create an attractive date. It's by playing games. You know, now, like, there's this uh, kind of games that couples play or uh, people in relationships play. Or sometimes when you go for, when you go to a party, they tell you, let's play games.